The video is sponsored by LG Consult. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Hi guys, I'm Isaac and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be learning how we can use Google Earth to establish elevations of different points, have them stored in a CSV that we can import anywhere in any software to establish contours that we can use for our different purposes, be it designs or just random analysis of data. So I hope everyone has Google Earth, but we before you proceed, remember to subscribe, like, and always share. You can always leave a comment in the co in the comment section below. If you have questions, we can always review them in our next tutorial. So what we do first, you go to your Google Earth and create a path. So once you click on path, you could rename it anything. For example, what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be naming it Elegon because the area I'm going to be <coughs> studying is around Mountain Elegon. Mountain Elegon is in Eastern Uganda, next to the border of Kenya. So it's the area my area of study this time around so i'll just name my path click on and once i'm still there i just move to where my work is so from my observation i'll take this to be the center of elegon then i'll start my path from there so as you move your cursor it all depends on your speed. If you're moving a bit slower, your cursor will capture points in different intervals, but when they are shorter. So when you move your cursor faster, then it will capture a few points. Remember, if you want to establish really uh, accurate contours, you're supposed to have short distances. Even if you're doing a topo map, remember, the shorter the spot heights, the more accurate the contours will be. So you just move randomly, like the way I'm doing. Mm. You could go on and 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 on. Mm. Just like that. Just like that, just like that. You do it randomly. As long as you're capturing a specified area, then it makes a lot of sense. For example, where I'm capturing, uh, yeah. I have that so I'll just click OK after I'm done and when you're done it will show you something like this of course the areas I've been capturing so my path is saved so I'll go ahead and right click on it and say save place as then I move to my folder where I'm, I want to be saving my work uh, as I told you, the place is around Mountain Elegon, so I, saved my, I created my folder as Mountain Elegon. By default, you're saving in KMZ, but remember to always select KML. That's the format we should be using from my tutorial. <laughs> so you click save, and once you click save, it's saved. So we use another tool. The other tool we use uh, is a website. The tool is embedded in, into a website. And what this website does, uh, the website is called GPS Visualizer. 
So what GPS Developer does, once you import a KML file into it, it runs back to its databases and it extracts elevations of this area you've been capturing and it gives you a, a GPX file. A GPX file is a GPS uh, exchange format file. These are the files uh, give, given to us when we use GPSs. So if you use a GPS, of course the format it understands is GPX. So you go ahead, once you log on to gpsvisualizer.com forward slash elevation, just down here below, just here, just here, you will see the EM database. So you upload your file. I'll go ahead and upload my file. You go into the directory and it's here, Mountain Elegon. So once I do that, I click convert and add elevation. Remember the output format is GPX. So it will take some time. Mm, it will take some time. Remember everything happens online. and it's done so once it's done your file is just here download so you just go ahead and download it and it has finished downloading i go ahead and copy it and I store it into my folder. My folder is here. So I go ahead and save my GPX file into my folder. Once you're done, you go ahead and open a new project in 2GIS. Once, once you're done doing that, you open new data source and select vector. So you're adding a new vector file into your 2GIS. You go to your directory still. Mountain Elegon is here and I select my GPX file. Once I do that, I open and I add it. So the number of features I selected are 2014. So that's the track point. So that's what I'll select because the rest have zero zero features. And I'll say, okay. Once you close that, you will see the points I've been capturing throughout my way, or call it the path. And once you have this, you already have points to this. So I go ahead and select this layer that has my GPX. Then you use your contour plugin. So click on the contour plugin. Uh, my GPX is the, the point layer. Then go ahead and select the data value. The data value we are talking about is the elevation. So it becomes the LA or call it ELE. So once you click on that, it will give you what you see. It will show you what you're seeing right now. You go ahead and modify this to suit your work. So we are going to use an interval of 100 or we could we could use 20 we could use 20 so when we use 20 uh, we select the color ramp we would li like to use mm, we'll use this then you go ahead and Go ahead and add your close. Oh, we could do this again.
yeah and this is our work this is how our work looks like so from this you can go ahead and uncheck the points to have only this We could go ahead and change the color ramp. Yeah. To have something like this. So this is the area we've been capturing. And we could still use the contour layer. Go to properties. And go to label go to the labeling and say you want the elevation to become the label then apply click OK so once you zoom in you can see the elevations of the different contours so you could try this if you have any problems remember to comment I'll totally reply you could try it with your area have any area try it so this is how our ground would look like from my study of course this is the top of mountain eligon now these are the valleys around and this is the basin or call it the lowermost valley I, I try to capture and the elevations are listed thank you for watching we shall meet in our next tutorial